Well, Coach Nas, just uh, looking back on the season, what sticks out? Um, how my guys fought through all season long. Um, coaching staff, we had a great coaching staff, um, great community support, great school support, um, alumni support, just everyone just buying in, you know, supporting our team. Just You talked about earlier this season just the importance of just building a program. How important is that to you and what's that kind of role has that played in this year's success? Well, building a program, it's every day. It's an everyday process and you got to be on the ground every day. You know, whether you're building relationships with our kids, you know, whether you're out in the community and just weightlifting, practicing, you know, whatever you're doing, just to try to um, prepare for the season. When did you start to realize this season could be special? Um, at the end of last year, you know, I sat down with our coaching staff and we reevaluated, you know, the pros and the cons. What could we do to get better? And we took it to our, our senior leaders and they bought into what we was trying to do. And I'm very proud of our senior senior group this year, but all of our team. Well, you're not only uh, boys coach of the year this year for the morning news, you've been a past girls coach of the year as well. What was the key to your coaching success? Well, I, I, I give all the credit to God. You know, uh, without God, and without good players, and without support, you know, nothing, it wouldn't have been possible. And so I'm just thankful for the opportunity to be able to be both the girls coach of the year, also, uh, the boys coach of the year or the previous girl coach of the year when you have talent on a team sometimes you got to be able to coach the talent talk about that and what do you enjoy about that challenge well i, I just think you got to put the right pieces in the right places and um that's what we try to do this year and uh we had some great kids man like every day those guys was executing in practice they was diving on floor for loose balls um, they were very coachable they will uh, challenge each other um, every day. So that's what great teams do, challenge each other every day. What is it you like about coaching? I, I know your father uh, was a big coach in success and you're following in his footsteps. Uh, just what do you, what is it about coaching? What have you learned from your father? What things have you added from your own personal philosophy? Just what's been the key? Well, I, I think this was a, a lifelong dream, you know, growing up watching him as a little boy, watching film uh, with him. You know, as, as my leader, um, it was just a great opportunity to be able to learn from him. But also, I learned from a lot of great coaches in the area. Um, previous coach uh, that coached me, Coach Al, um, he was here for a long period of time, so I learned a lot from him as well. Derek McQueen over there at Wilson, um, Brian Scott over there at, at Lamar. So um, all those coaches helped raise me. And so um, I don't take all the credit. You know, um, it's, a, it's a village, and I'm always willing to learn. What is it you'll remember about this season down the road? Uh, our motto, expect to win. We got a motto that we say we, we expect to win in the classroom, in the community, um, just on the court every day in practice, and also in games. And so we take that, that motto seriously, and we want to continue continuously to keep that motto up. Speaking of which, you did reach the state championship game this year. What kind of tone do you want that to set for the program's overall picture? Uh, expect to win. That, that's our motto. Uh, we got to come in all season now and um, expect to win in the weight room. I think that was a difference maker in the state championship game. And so um, by us knowing that, um, we're going to hit the weight room very hard um, in the all season.